Any tool that saves you time can become invaluable, especially when it comes to PCs. And cloning drives is so much faster than installing Windows from scratch. I've been using EaseUS Disk Copy for a couple of years when I need to clone drives for SSD upgrades, downgrades, and OS backups. It's really quick and simple to use. While a clean install of an operating system is always very nice, it takes a lot more time and you won't have the existing data, apps, and settings, which is often what you need. Disk Copy allows you to easily clone from one drive to another, migrate your Windows 10 or 11 installation, and even create a portable boot drive with the app to take along with you. It can also copy drives with bad sectors without crapping itself. It will just skip them instead of erroring out. Big thanks to EaseUS for sponsoring this video and my channel, allowing me to continue my independent hardware review content. And of course, I also get to show you how disk copy works. I've linked it in the video description. There's a free trial available and it's 20 bucks for a license. In today's inflationary environment, what's that, like a few coffees? Anyway, I'll give you a quick rundown on how easy it is to use disk copy. Run it to find a very straightforward interface, which was actually redesigned with the recently released version 6.0. Disk mode is what we use to make a clone of the drive. All you need to do is select your source and destination. Disk copy makes it real easy by showing the device name and details. You can see I'm going to clone the Ascent drive to a USB NVMe enclosure which has an SSD half the size. Not an exact clone when the drive isn't the same size, but we can do it because the Ascent drive is not full of files. If it was, the C drive bar would be completely dark blue and be too much data for the smaller SSD. And of course, copying to a larger drive is never an issue. Oh, and if you're wondering what this option does, Sector by Sector clones drives at the sector level for specific usage cases such as unsupported Windows disk formats or hard drives with issues. It also takes longer. Next, we choose our destination drive. If your destination drive is an SSD, click this checkbox. By default, it will auto fit the disk so I don't need to do anything, but you can manually select the amount of space in the partition if you like. Hit proceed and let it do its thing. All done. Easy, right? Partition mode lets you choose individual partitions to copy over. Useful if, say, you only want the data from a Windows drive, but not the recovery and boot partitions. So I can copy the C drive partition to the other storage drive and access the files, but it won't cause problems by being bootable. Finally, you can create a bootable USB of disk copy or save the image for later use. Plug in a USB drive. Small ones are fine. It needs less than one gigabyte of space. Then go through the prompts to create it. Once it's done, you can boot from the USB using the PC's BIOS or boot menu and use disk copy that way. The BIOS key is usually the delete F1, F2 or F12 key when you start your PC. This is a great option for when you don't have access to Windows on the PC you're working with or it's on a really slow mechanical hard drive that takes minutes to boot. Ain't nobody got time for that. You can use both disk and partition mode off the USB. Okay, so that's EaseUS Disk Copy. Simple to use and does the job. I like how it automatically fits the drive without prompting me to do so, allowing me to quickly start the clone process whatever the size difference is. All I need to do is choose the source and target drive. So if you're interested, find the link in the video description. And thanks again to EaseUS for sponsoring this channel and creating such easy to use software. Cheers.